on World Heart Day, people were asking whether vaccines are causing heart attack. The short answer is no. Any question raised by people who oppose the vaccines need to be listened to politely and answered scientifically. Are we seeing more cases of heart disease? Yes. Are we seeing them in little unusual population, young, fit, athletic people? Yes. What could be the reason? Can heart disease be caused by stress? Yes. Was there enormous stress for past two years? Yes. Can heart disease be caused by COVID? Yes. Was there COVID for past two years? Yes. Another reason is the selection bias of how we consume news on social media. Maybe the percentage of young people getting heart disease was same couple years ago that it is now. But because we have become so hypersensitive about any news related to heart disease that we give more weightage to it. So the same percentage has been looked at is blown out of proportion and we think oh my god this thing is happening. Another thing to consider is statistics. Suppose I was recommending when the vaccination started in India that forget all these Aadhaar card and checking open stadiums in Bombay and vaccinate everybody till the vaccines supply run out or people run out. Had that happened and 10 people in Bombay next day would have fallen off the bicycle. You know what would have been the trending news on WhatsApp? I took vaccine yesterday and I fell off the bicycle. The things that would have happened by chance can happen also in vaccinated people. And when you do billions of vaccine doses, these things are not only acceptable, but they are expected. Now, can vaccine cause heart disease? Yes, they can. mRNA vaccine were shown to cause some amount of inflammation of the heart muscle cause myocarditis. It was happening in younger adolescents and most of them got completely better. It was thought it could also be related to little higher dose that Moderna was using. Were there dangerous clots in some of the other vaccines like the adenovirus technology, Covishield or Johnson & Johnson? Yes, there were. There were some vaccine related documented deaths due to the side effects. Rare, but they were happening. We cannot look at it anecdotally. We have to look at it scientifically, statistically. A friend of mine kept saying that my uncle died from vaccine. It's not proven, but for argument's sake, suppose he died from vaccine. I have another friend whose uncle died from a car accident. So should we stop driving cars? We have to look at it logically. And rationally, one of the major objections that people who oppose vaccines take, there are two objections. One, vaccines don't work. And second, they cause side effects. Let's take a look at vaccines don't work. It is, and they don't work currently. They protect against serious disease. But to prevent mild COVID, symptomatic COVID, Pfizer or Moderna may be 5-10% effective, if at all, right now against BFI. But people who are opposing vaccines, it is almost like self-fulfilling prophecy. When the vaccines came out, they were 95% effective. If there were plenty of vaccines which could have been offered to the entire world and had entire world taken it, there would not have been any more replication. If there was no replication, there was no mutation. And then it would have worked. But people didn't take vaccines or they were not available. So the virus kept replicating, mutating, and the mutated version was resistant to the effect of vaccine. So that's why the vaccine efficacy went from 95% to 5% because not many people had taken it, it was not available, and the virus kept replicating. Now, why vaccines still protect you against serious disease? But this has become a little muddier now, and the reason is the amount of natural disease that the world has seen. So when somebody is protected from serious disease of COVID, how do you ascribe a value to it that this much was done by the vaccine and this much was done by the natural disease? So then people would say then if any way was going to happen by natural disease, then what was the need to take the risk with the vaccine? And the answer to that is, had we tried 
to achieve herd immunity by natural disease we would have lost millions of more people take it to the bank we would have lost millions of more people india there was no third wave but india's natural immunity during the second wave trouble made the foundation but india's splendid vaccination bolstered it and these two together have kept out india out of any third waves from may 2021 but there are swaths of world where there not has been that much natural disease the pandemic is pretty much over i'm still worried about four places canada australia new zealand and china i think canada and australia are going to be okay new zealand i think will also be mostly okay china is going to be in trouble yeah but it's i hope it it wasn't so but it's going to happen because there is like literally no natural immunity uh, in china so what do we do now i think part of the problem is how this was handled there were many people not all that smart just all their life laying about on the fringe of relevance they were suddenly handed this pandemic on the platter and they managed it so ham-handedly so poorly so arrogantly like one draconian draconian law after another is this mandates mass mandates this that means this should have been done not by coercion but by cooperation explaining to people there was never a, now there is absolutely no question of a mandate with like a 5 10% effective vaccine but because it was presented so poorly and there was so confusion and then that's why my fear as a physician is the people the other vaccines which saves millions of life every year people will start being skeptical about them and the, they may not vaccinate their kid and that's the problem and this problem is being amplified by all these unhinged spider men on social media whatsapp who have a lot of power but no responsibility so they keep spewing this news so if you have taken if you are my friend this is not a medical advice if you have friend you have taken two three or four doses of vaccine and you are wondering reading all this whatsapp like are you exposed to heart disease my answer to you it's simple ignore all the news your vaccines have protected you from serious disease eat healthy exercise if you can have fun and don't be worried about all this just enjoy just enjoy please dr ravi dot said